I know I am completely unprepared to make this video, so bear with me. Um, I haven't had as much time with this knife as I wish I would have before I made this, but hey, what are you going to do? I kind of want to get it off my chest. And if you hear a weird noise in the background, I have a space heater on down here because it's freaking cold. I, I finally gave it. I'm a pussy. It, it's been way too cold this winter. I'm ready for it to be a thousand degrees again. I, I hate the heat. And anyway, so, uh, oh yeah, it's, it's late right now. Well, kind of late. I mean, 1030. I mean, I got to work tomorrow, but I could care less because my job treats me like trash. <laughs> That's kind of ratchet, too rash. Whatever. Anyway, this is a piranha knife. If you watch my last video, my live stream, I unboxed this thing. You can go back and watch it if you want to give me a view. I don't think I get ads as money off it. This will probably actually get demonetized, which sucks. It's the bodyguard in silver. I'd wanted a bodyguard for a while, and uh, blade blade ops. Yeah, blade ops. I always get them in Blade HQ mixed up. Blade Ops was running a sale where you could get like 15% off or something. Um, so I picked one up. And I'm glad I did because they're, they're a cool little knife. Um, packaging will go over really quick here. You know, just says what it is on the side. Black, kind of a whatever you'd call that. Scratchy. Um, Prana logo on the front. Pretty cool, nice, simple packaging. You open it up. And you get this little velvet bag. And an instruction. Not instructions, actually. No, this actually, this is a catalog of everything you can get. The rated R's look pretty cool. I want to pick one of those up. It's a bodyguard and a prowler. Bodyguard's one we got. Not in blue, though. They got the best color combinations. Like, not necessarily combinations, com combinations, um, but vivid colors. Like, you know, greens, reds, blues, like deep purples. You know, the cool stuff. On the back here, you have your specs. We'll, uh... We'll zoom in there. Let you read those if you want. It has a titanium pocket clip, which is kind of interesting. Not a big knife. Yeah, actual size. There you go. We, we'll actually compare that to make sure they're not lying. Once we actually get the knife out. Let's see, is this double side? Nope, that's it. Alright, we'll put that guy back there. And if I, my voice sounds weird or I'm sniffling, it's because I'm getting over like the flu or some ungodly disease that I got you know, infected with, along with all these cuts in my hands, fissures. So you get this little bag, Piranha USA. Really nice bag, got the logo, a little velvety thing. I mean, they don't have to do this, because, I mean, one of my favorite knife makers, well, for a while until I started spending crud tons on knives, um, it was CRKT, and their stuff just came in little cardboard boxes, and I liked it. But, I mean, this is nice when a company does it. It makes it a little, little, more, little more presentationable. Open it up. And out comes your knife. And this is the bodyguard in silver. Just the, the plain raw... <clears throat> man, voice crack there. Plain raw aluminum. Get some good... It's probably going to be hard to focus on this just because of the... Uh, maybe it'll focus. Because it's silver. Sometimes that can mess with the camera. Has piranha, piranha engraved right there. It is engraved. And then Piranha something. I don't know what that last thing is there. The little niche under. Stonewash pocket clip. Which is really nice. The contrast, once I open the knife up, you'll see. You'll see how the uh, the contrast really, really sets this knife apart. And it is an automatic. So if you don't live in a state that legalizes automatics, <laughs> you're SOL. But... Let's see, are we focused here? Probably. You ready for it? Re ready? Hopefully I don't hit anything like I normally do with my autos. Boom! There you have it. A... 2.9 inch... <laughs> 2.9 inch S30V blade. Stonewash. We need to get that to focus on that. Anybody want to send me a camera? Like a good camera? So basically... <clears throat> You have yourself a little sticker here. A little dagger, if you will. Sort of. Eh, I guess you could call it. Um, I'm not the best with my blade 
play terminologies like, you know, telling you, oh, this isn't exactly uh, a reverse, double, triple ground, drop point, spear, tanto, whatever. I mean, I know, I know the basic, like, tanto, you know, dagger, stuff like that, but I'm not going to get too, too specific with you on stuff. It, it looks like a mini dagger, kind of like a tilight-ish, tilight thing. Really symmetrical, fits in your hand well. Not really too much grip, it is a little slippery, so that can, that can be a little problem when you're firing. Iron knife. I got a little bit larger hands. It's not that bad. Your button there, it's pretty good. Uh, look at now I'm bleeding. This is definitely going to get demonetized. Um, good, good button. It's not really popped out of the handle too far. And the nice thing about this is, um, let me see, I need something to show you. Ah, Game Boy Advance. If you, and watch now, this is going to fly open and hurt me. Um, if you push this flush against something hard and push like that's flush now I push it flush with the, uh, the Game Boy like the button is not popped out at all it's it's actually recessed a little bit but it still takes a deliberate push to get it to pop open so chance of it popping open in your pocket if you don't have anything else in there are really slim even if you you bump it um, which is nice I mean you know, there is a chance these things could pop open in your pocket, but it, it's kind of negated. A lot of them you have to, if you get good autos, you have to push the button in pretty far. It takes a deliberate press, so. Um, handles, I mean, the handles are really nice. I like that raw aluminum look. I'm sure the anodized colors would be great, but the raw aluminum just kind of kind of sets it apart. Um, not flow through design, but I mean, that's okay. You can just blow it out with some canned air or something. Um, one thing that you'll notice about the knife, oh, let's see, actually, it's an actual size. Actually, it's not. Front actual size. Hmm. That's weird, I don't know what it was talking about. Um, and it doesn't matter, we'll put this away so it stops distracting us. Um, one thing that you'll know, actually, I need it because of the specs. <laughs> you'll notice that the knife is really, really light. That's one of the first things when you pick one of these up. And it is, wait. It'd be blown away by this. 1.8 ounces. A sub 2 ounce knife. Now, it's not going to be a heavy, heavy duty knife. This, you know, honestly, it's going to be a light task. It's called a bodyguard, but you're not going to be using this to defend your life. Maybe in a pinch, okay? But you shouldn't get this as a defensive blade. Um, knives aren't good as a defensive tool anyway, unless it's like last ditch. But, uh,. As for like a little EDC blade, I mean, you clip this onto your pocket, you don't even know you have it. I mean, it's that light. I had this clipped onto my shirt pocket when I first got it, and uh, I don't like really carrying much stuff in my shirt pocket, at least a shirt that I had it clipped onto, because it makes your shirt just drag, and you know, I don't like the feeling of it. But um, this could barely tell, barely tell it was in your pocket. I mean, and for an auto of this size, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get ourselves a little... Uh, Comparison, size comparison. There's a Parker Jotter. Um, Zippo. You know, it's not it's not gonna be the biggest knife in the world, but it'll it'll do what you need it to do. Um problem is if you pull this out it might scare someone. But I mean people are pussies anyway, so you can't be can't be afraid of offending anyone. Um lock up on this. You do have a little bit of blade placed side to side. None really up and down. That is one um, one criticism against these, or piranha knives in general. They are USA made, so you know that's a good thing. They're not foreign produced. Um, but they do not have a pivot, or a pivot screw, as you can see. Now, it gives it a nice clean look, um, but they're not adjustable. So, you're not going to be able to adjust side to side blade plate. Now granted, it doesn't have that much, so, I mean, it's an auto, it's going to have a teensy bit. It doesn't have that much blade play. It's not really that big of a, um, not that big of a deal to me. I mean, blade play, unless it's really, really severe, it never really, um, it never really is an issue. It fires out pretty good. That's a snap, but it's not going to fly out of your hand like the Microtech LEDT. Um, that thing just has a stupid spring in it. Um, you can take it apart. It has, I believe, to be torque screws. Maybe. You can see it there. 
I thought it was just all pin construction at first, but it does have a couple screws, so you can take it apart if you need to, you know, for cleaning and stuff. Um, I haven't tried taking it apart. I've seen that these can be a little bit of a hassle to get back together, but I mean, there's some videos on here on YouTube that uh, depict that way better than I could, or even explain it. Um, it does come sharp. I'm not going to do a cut test. I mean, cut and paper, you know, but it, it does have a good edge on it, which is nice. Uh, there's something else I was going to say about Oh, yeah, the retention... You close it into the handle. It doesn't have a really loud snap at all. If anything, it just kind of mushes in there. But I mean, it's fine because you know it, it's it holds. You know that's what it needs to. It got a little bit of bounce up and down. Um, better than my Microtech LED T because that thing, if you don't snap it in and then give an extra little push in here to ping, it won't be locked in all the way, which is a little disconcerting. Um, at least for me, you know. What else do we want to say about this? Nothing really. Got some really nice form factor. I just hit it against my laptop. <laughs> I need to get a new laptop. Nice form factor. Nice looking knife. Definitely something you want to pick up, put in your collection. Um, like I said, really lightweight. I don't think you'll be disappointed if you pick this up. And they have a myriad of colors, so, you know, pick your poison basically. Yeah. Well, I can't say anything else about it. I mean, this video's already going on long enough, and I'm tired. Because, you know, work does stuff to you, and it makes you want to hate your life and get another job. So if, if anybody, if anybody lives in Michigan, mid-Michigan, let me know if you work somewhere and you want me to be employed by you. I, I, would, I would be up to do anything. Uh, actually, I wouldn't. Never mind. Take that back. I'm not going to be a stripper. Almost anything. I'll see ya. Oh, I do have a big announcement, um, but not right now. You'll see that video up maybe, maybe in another day or two, or three or four, or five. I don't know. F it. Who cares? It, it'll, it'll be up when it goes up.